Equity markets are hitting all-time highs, but the volatility index is at an all-time low. That sounds like great news to me, but Scott Clemens from Brown Brothers Harriman says that now is exactly the time that you should be assessing your investment risk. Scott, why should investors be remaining alert to their risk? Well, investors should always be alert, but particularly now because we know, as is the case in life, so is the case in investment markets. It's precisely when you think that nothing can go wrong that Mother Nature or Mr. Market pulls the rug out from under you. Volatility isn't actually the definition of risk that you're particularly interested in. It is the institutional definition of risk, but it happens to be one with which we don't agree because the definition of price volatility is simply not one that most private clients embrace. Risk for an individual investor, risk for a family investor, is simply that the assets they have don't support the spending needs that they have both now and into the future. It's an exercise in balance, not necessarily an exercise in avoiding price volatility. And when you're putting a portfolio together, you're actually more interested in what the client needs than in chasing the the index. That's right. It's an exercise ultimately in balance sheet management. Individuals and families, like companies, have assets and they have liabilities. The difference is for individuals, those liabilities may be more subjective. It may be the desire to retire in a certain place at a certain age, to be philanthropic, to, to leave money for future generations, whatever it may be. But then the exercise of asset allocation, investing, is simply a reflection of the liability allocation. What you need your assets to do in terms of supporting those liabilities, both now and and into the future. Now, any individual security that you choose is going to have a fundamental value and it's also going to have a current price. Talk me through how you assess those two things. So those, first of all, they're two very different things. Price is a wonderful notion. It has transparency, it has availability. You and I would agree on the price of any security on any given day of the week. That's a beautiful thing. The downside is that price has volatility. Value is the reverse of all of those things. You and I might not agree on the value of a security. It's not readily accessible but it has more durability. So our approach at Brown Brothers Harriman is simply to identify the value of a security in any asset class and exploit the volatility of the price to buy the asset at a discount to its intrinsic value. Low volatility in the market at the moment actually means there's not many opportunities then. It's become a lot more difficult. We haven't had a 5% correction in U.S. equity markets since June of 2016 with the surprise Brexit vote. And even that wasn't that big of a setback. That's the fourth longest stretch on record without a 5% correction in the market. So yes, it makes an active value approach a little bit more difficult, which in turn makes the risk approach all the more important. So with current market sentiment, what should investors be doing? Investors should first of all be making sure that the asset allocation they have reflects the liability allocation they have, step one. Step two, they should not be lowering their investment standards in pursuit of return without attention to risk. One of my favorite definitions of risk is simply that many, many more things can happen than will happen. And just because risky things haven't happened in the past 18 months since that last correction doesn't mean the market's not a risky place. Scott, thank you very much. Thank you, Paul. Thanks for watching. Click through to watch our interview with Adrienne Penter about the Brown Brothers Harriman Center for Women and Wealth. You can find out more about these issues at bbh.com. And for the latest videos from World Finance, please subscribe.